Hello again. This is Miss Olson and Miss O'Neill, and we're back to introduce you to Google Calendars. Miss O'Neill, the high school life is just so hectic, and I'd love to have a calendar that is easily accessible where I can keep track of my assignments, school activities, and other important appointments. Well, Miss Olson, I love my Google Calendar. With my calendar, I can keep track of all my events and access it from my mobile device. Before you get started, though, here are a couple of things you should know. To access your calendar, click on the Chrome Apps Launcher in the bottom left corner of your Chromebook, or click on the Apps icon in your Chrome browser. Select Google Calendar. By default, you will see all of your calendars listed on the left under My Calendars. Any calendars that you've added that other people own will be listed under Other Calendars. You may choose to view or not to view calendars by simply click clicking on the calendar name. There are times when you may not want to view all calendars overlapping, like a class calendar and your personal calendar. There are many settings you can adjust to make your use of Google Calendar more efficient. With Google Calendar, you can view calendar information by day, week, and month. You can also customize your calendar view to display as many days as you want in one view. To change between different views, just click on the buttons in the top right hand corner of your calendar. To quickly customize your view, just click and drag on the mini calendar from your desired start date to your desired end date. To change your calendar's default view, click on the gear icon at the top right corner. Click Settings. Make sure you're on the General tab. In the Default View section, select the desired view from the drop-down menu. Click Save. You can add assignments, appointments, activities, and other important information by creating new events in your calendar. Click on the day where you'd like to create a new event. If the event spans over an hour, click and drag. Type the title for your new event in the box. Click Create to publish the event to your calendar immediately, or click Edit Event Details to add additional information. For example, you can set up repeat events, like Palms Practice. You can enter the location so you don't forget where you need to go. And you can add any materials in the description box so you have everything ready to go. You can even put a Google Doc in. Don't forget to click Save. Miss O'Neill, I know you like to stay extremely organized and you color code everything. It's true, I do. In Google Calendars, you can change calendar color by simply clicking on the arrow next to a calendar and selecting the calendar color that you choose. You can add any public Google Calendar to your list of calendars for easy access. For example, there is a Glenbrook South calendar that shows the gold and blue days, late arrivals, no school days, and various activities and events specific to Glenbrook South. To add the calendar to your list, go to the Glenbrook South homepage, click on Calendars in the left, click on the Google Calendar icon next to GBS School Calendar, and then to add the calendar to your list of calendars, click on the plus Google Calendar button in the bottom right. You will be asked if you want to add this calendar. Click yes, add this calendar. And the calendar will now appear on the left hand side under other calendars. You know, Miss Olson, we have a huge group English project coming up, and I'd love to have a calendar that's just for the project so we can see when our meeting times are and post stuff when it's due. I think that's a great idea. Here's how you can do that. You have one primary calendar associated with your account. However, you can create different calendars to help you organize different parts of your life, such as a calendar for your long-term English project. To create a calendar, click on the drop down arrow next to My Calendars. Then select Create New Calendar. Enter information about your new calendar, such as a calendar name, a brief description, 
and a location if necessary. To share this calendar with others, check the box next to share this calendar with others. You can either make the calendar public so that it is viewable to anybody, or if you would like to share with specific people, enter their email address in the box below. You can give each individual specific permission settings for easier collaboration. Once you are done, click Create Calendar. Now it's time for you to check out your own Google Calendar. Whether you decided to use it as an assignment notebook or simply to view the school schedule, the Google Calendar is a great tool to help you stay organized. At a minimum, we would recommend adding the Activities Calendar to your list of calendars. This will give you easy access to view gold and blue days, late arrivals, and days off in addition to activities going on in the school. You may also want to begin adding events and setting some of your calendar preferences, like changing the color. Have fun, and we'll see you next time.